Going back to our slideshow, the second thing that you need to be aware of is the options bar. And the option bar is special because it changes. So the menu bar is going to stay the same, but the options bar is going to change. And so the bar that you see across the top of the screen right now, uh, I'm not sure if I zoom in if you'll be able to see it, but let me see if it will work. Um, so I am totally zoomed in right now. I have no idea if it's going to come across on, on the recorded video, though. And so if I zoom in my, my options bar crossed here, it has a T representing type. Um, it says the name of the typeface that I'm using. So I could scroll down and I could choose a different typeface. And it gives me all these different settings. If I zoom out here. Um, but those settings are tied to the tool that I have selected. And so if I'm changing the typeface settings, I would probably guess that I have the type tool selected. And if I look on my tools panel, which is on the left hand side here, the T or the type tool is selected. If I was to change it, I'm going to change it back and forth a bunch of times. Don't pay attention to what's on the options bar, but just pay attention that it keeps changing. All right? It changes depending on what tool you have selected. And so even if you don't know how to use a tool, you could click on the tool. So I have the pen tool selected right now. Then I could look at the options that I have and I could try to maybe figure out what I could do with that tool. Now the more software you get into, the more Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, um, the more playing around you'll be able to do and be successful at. And if this is your first graphic arts or Adobe class, and you've never done any of this before, it probably means nothing to you. But you'll start to get better and you'll start to be able to click around. And one of my favorite things to do is to click on a tool and then look at the options bar and say, well, what, what could I do with that tool? Okay, going back to the slideshow, let's put it back. Um, aside from the menu bar and the options bar, there are basically two things on the workspace that I would like you to be familiar with. And the left hand side is the tools panel and you'll see that it's long and skinny by default. It's probably hard for you to see on my videos. And on the right hand side there are docked and nested panels and uh, they, they're kind of snapped over there on the side. And then you can kind of click on little tabs and you can make some panels uh, move to the foreground and some move to the background and vice versa. And you can kind of click through and use them as needed. Let's talk more about the tools panel. And so the tools panel, I've zoomed it in here, um, is generally long and skinny. And I think for the most part, people kind of like the long and skinny tools panel. Um, but it is kind of hard to display on the slideshow here. So if you click the black bar or the dark gray bar at the top of the panel, you can click and you can change the way that it's being viewed. And so I just like double clicked on it until it was like a short squatty tools panel as opposed to a long skinny one. And there are so many tools that I'm not even going to attempt to go through all of them right now. There are over 60 tools. I sat and I counted them. I counted 63 and then I just stopped. Um, so there's more than 60 tools that you could use to edit or change or modify or add to um, your document that you're creating. Some of the ones that I would like you to start memorizing right now are listed on the screen. And so I'm just going to go down the left hand side and then the right hand side. There is no order of importance. I feel like these are the ones that you should kind of be focusing on first. And then once we start getting into other stuff, we can kind of refine all the different school, um, tools that we know. And so the move tool, the little crosshair there, it allows you to move things. And so if you are in the type tool and you wanted to take your type and you wanted to move it from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen, you can't move the type with the type tool. You can add type, you can modify type, you can delete type, but you can't move it. And so you'd have to click on the move tool and then click and drag what you want it to move. And that goes for elements on your page too. Like if you're painting something, you can click on the tree and move the tree to one side or the other, as long as it's not connected to anything else. The crop tool is used to change the size of your image. And what is important about the crop tool is that one, we're covering it in this chat in this module. We're covering the idea of cropping images to change their size and then also being fully aware of what the resolution of the image is. And so the crop tool will allow you to crop the width, the height, and change the resolution of the image or, or constrain the resolution of the image when you're changing the size of the image. Be careful when you crop though. Um, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing before you start cropping or you end up with images that are the wrong size or the wrong resolution. The eraser tool is going to be helpful for beginning Photoshop users. If you click on it, you can erase and you can use it just like a paintbrush. So everything that I tell you about the paintbrush, keep that in mind. But the eraser will do the same by removing color. 
And then the hand tool is fun if you're zoomed in. I'm going to go to Photoshop for a second. If you find yourself zooming in, which is Command or Control Plus on your screen, or you could grab the, the Magnify tool here, Zoom tool. If you find yourself zooming in and then getting stuck or you want to pan around to something else, you can grab the hand tool. And the hand tool will allow you to pan around without moving the actual picture. You're just moving around what part you're seeing. And my favorite key command is the space bar. And so if you have any tool besides the type tool selected, so it won't work with the type tool, but if you have any tool selected and you push the space bar, it will change your cursor into the hand tool. And so I can push the space bar and then click and drag to wherever I need to go. And then I can let go of the space bar and go back to whatever I was doing. In this case, I have the lasso selection tool selected. Command D or Control D will deselect.